Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel where we discuss all things related to networking and security. This video is all about breaking down the OSI model. Understanding this basic concept is important for anyone getting into networking. We will dissect each layer, simplifying its complexities to empower you with a clearer comprehension of how data moves across networks. But before we dive in, take a moment to check out our blog where we discuss various subjects like Linux, cybersecurity, and much more in depth. Now, if you're ready, let's get started. OSI, which stands for Open Systems Interconnection Model, is a conceptual framework used to understand how different devices communicate over a network. It consists of seven layers, each with a specific role in ensuring that data gets from point A to point B efficiently and securely. The physical layer, at the bottom of the OSI model, deals with the physical connection between devices. It includes hardware elements such as cables, connectors, switches, and the transmission of raw data in the form of electrical, optical, or radio signals. Think of it as the layer where bits are transmitted as electrical impulses or light pulses through physical mediums like copper wires, fiber optic cables, or wireless signals. Moving up, the data link layer provides node-to-node -node communication. It ensures the error-free transmission of data over the physical layer. Here, data frames are structured and error detection and correction mechanisms are implemented. Additionally, this layer manages access to the physical medium handles flow control, and assigns physical addresses, MAC addresses, to devices for identification within a local network. The network layer focuses on routing and forwarding data packets across different networks. It's responsible for determining the best path for data to travel from the source to the destination. Protocols like IP, Internet Protocol, operate in this layer, assigning logical addresses, IP addresses, to devices and facilitating communication between different networks. The transport layer ensures reliable and accurate end-to-end -end communication between devices. This layer manages data segmentation, reassembly, and error checking. It also determines whether data transmission should be connection-oriented, as in TCP, for guaranteed delivery or connection-less, as in UDP, for faster but less reliable transmission. The upper layers. Session presentation and application are often collectively referred to as the upper layers of the OSI model. The session layer manages the establishment, maintenance, and termination of sessions between applications. The presentation layer focuses on data translation, encryption, and compression, ensuring that the information exchanged between systems is in a readable format and can be understood by the receiving device, application, the application layer is where end users interact with the network through various applications. Protocols like HTTP, FTP, SMTP, and others operate in this layer, enabling specific functions for users. Each layer performs specific tasks while interacting with adjacent layers, contributing to the successful transmission and reception of data across networks. Understanding these functions aids in troubleshooting, designing, and optimizing network systems. Remember, these layers work cohesively, each relying on the services provided by the layer below it and providing services to the layer above it. This interdependence ensures effective communication across networks. Understanding the OSI model is key to navigating the world of networking. With each layer's unique role clarified, troubleshooting and optimizing networks become more manageable. Subscribe for more insightful tech content and explore our blog for additional resources. Stay curious, keep learning, and I'll catch you in the next video.